one. Okay, so let me show how I go about setting up a YouTube um, Hangout. So studioyoutube.com is where I usually go to. Um, this has changed a bit, so I think it's, it's useful to do this again. And so I'm logged in with my account. I've gone to studio.youtube.com. It's actually a little tricky to find this. I think you can find it off your account and going, no, nope, it's not even there. Um, but that's how I find it. Um, the creation of live events like we've been doing for virtually connecting for a long time is actually linked in kind of the historical other features below. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go to other features, live events. It looks like it brought it up in another tab. Um, I've got, uh, the views changed here. Huh? I'll do a new live event and then I'll say meeting about virtual sessions is what I'll call this. Um, I'm going to set it up here pretty soon. It's going to actually be at 11.30 a.m. my time. And uh, an demo of setting a live session. So basically, I'm doing a session with a colleague that I met on Twitter who's doing a session at OER. And uh, I want to discuss what she wants to do and um, see if I can help her out by letting her see how I set things up. So I'm going to make this public so people can find this. And then um, we do this for our virtually connecting. This morning, connecting sessions, uh, I should probably virtually connecting link that. Do, do. Create an event. So that's created now. Um, it should be listed here as upcoming. I got a whole bunch of other ones there that are just old and I should go through and delete. You can actually delete things by clicking here and doing it in action delete, but I won't do that right now. So let me um, do this. So what the next step is, is that I'm going to uh, eventually, I could share this out and people could connect to it. And so um, let me do that. So if I control click on that, I'll bring it up. This is a YouTube page for your event. Um, no, I don't want notifications YouTube. You might, but I don't. Um, so people could actually, you could just send them this link for people that want to watch your event and then they could actually chat here. There's all sorts of um, interesting production here. If you want to run an event where people are commenting here on the side, you could actually turn that off. But if you want to leave it on and have people comment on the side during your session, then you just need to organize for someone to monitor this. This is something I've struggled with when I'm doing a live event, um, not knowing that this page exists. It exists for people to watch, but I keep forgetting that people could be sending comments here, and I usually don't notice until after. Um, when you're running a one-person show, it, there's just too many balls in the air to uh, watch all of this. Uh, but if you can get someone or delegate a, a friend or a colleague to watch this and, and maybe someone who's in the room with you even or, or, or some way that they could help shepherd the conversation while you're doing your event, that would be an excellent idea. So you could share this in your web page or somewhere else or on Twitter that you're going to have your event running at that time. I said it's at 1130. So if people load this page, it should let them know it's starting uh, in five minutes and 28 seconds. So there's a countdown there. Um, so there's that. And what I'm going to do is as soon as I'm ready to go, I'm going to actually click. Well, I might as well just do it right now. Um, let me close that and put some extra tabs here. So what I'm going to do, this is what is how you start it. Is a start Google Hangout on air. Okay. This will bring up a new window. It's going to do some checks of video and all sorts of other permissions. If you haven't given that, you'll need to go here and allow camera microphone access for your web browser. I've already done that in the past, so it didn't bother me about it. Quick view. There's the uh, ch chat room here on the left or on the right side and the buttons on the left. Uh, this is a button to screen share where you can sh share what's ever on your screen. And then this is uh, some other tools that you don't really need. Uh, as soon as I'm ready to go, what I can do is I can, I can actually just select this URL. So there's ways to invite people via email and other methods. 
you can do that. I like to just copy paste this URL, send it to someone in private. Don't publish that open on the internet or Twitter or something like that, because anyone on the planet, if they click this link, they'll be jumping in live to your session. And you might want to have a little bit of filtering on, on who you want to allow to connect to your broadcast. We're still not live right now. I need to hit the start broadcast button to make this live. But as soon as I've got my guests joined and we're ready to go, I'm um, often I discuss with the person that this will be recorded uh, and possibly live streamed to the internet and that they, by continuing, they agree to that. Okay, so I will not start the broadcast now. I will uh, wait and then connect. So I'm going to kill this screencast right now and I'll probably do a little bit of editing on it later.